So back in Blender, before we import the FBX um, and do whatever we have to do, I like to store the animations in a separate blend file for my workflow. So I'm creating a new file. Go to File, Import, FBX. Go to the Animations folder where I've downloaded the FBX and choose my Mixamo preset, which I figured works best for that workflow. So you can copy these settings. Uh, import the punching animation and there we go. Now let's do a brief check if this is playing fine. So this seems to work quite well. <clears throat> and now with the Mixamo add-on, I want to create a control rig with the armature selected default settings to keep the animation. And now you see we have this nice control rig, which is a little bit more convenient for animation. Of course, uh, we don't want to move the spine, but just rotate it. Um, <clears throat> and the next thing I want to do is to push down these keyframes to an action and tap, uh, click or hit tab on the keyboard to edit the action for the purpose of renaming that action to something which makes sense to you. So uh, that is called punch. And just in case I will give it a fake user, in case we mess something up, the action is not lost um, and not purged when we leave Blender. Um, but what we can do to clean up the file. Um, so I like to have a second outliner here, switch to orphan data and also purge the Mixamo animation layer, which is there for no apparent reason. Purge everything which doesn't belong or is not needed in the scene and um, save this blend file as an animation or a blender scene, which is called punch. And let's do the same with a new scene. Import the receive uppercut animation with the appropriate settings. Now uh, let's see if this plays back properly. Yep, looks fine. That's ending at frame 31. It even seems to loop nicely. Again, create control rig, push down the keyframes to an action, edit the action to give it a proper name, uh, give it a fake user so it doesn't get lost accidentally, and perch anything we don't need, save the blend file, With just one action stored and now it's time to get back to our original mesh and now we have to import uh, so the, the first time to apply the rig to the original uh, mesh or character that you've created without uh, any rig is uh, to import the collection of one of the animations. So, or rather append, go to append, 
go to either of these um, to collection collection that's what or where the armature was stored and now we have a second mesh with the animation and the rig in the scene let's actually drag this to the base scene collection so we have them separate uh, now we have to um, transfer vertex groups to from the animated mesh to our base mesh um, which is quite simple with the armature selected go to rest position so they uh, match up perfectly then we choose our base mesh and go to the mesh data and this is where the mesh data transfer add-on comes into play um, which usually looks like this so we want uh, so basically this add-on allows us to transfer the vertex groups uh, from this uh, animated mesh to our base mesh so uh, of course we can sample that with the eyedropper but as they are overlaid it's a bit difficult so this is called Mr. Mannequin.001 so it's uh, that mesh uh, use world space as they are uh, matched up perfectly and we click on transfer vertex groups and you see now that we have all the vertex groups that we originally have in our animated mesh. Um, with that, we can delete the appended mesh and add an armature modifier. Choose the armature here, the, the rest of the settings. Uh, are fine as they are and now once we select the armature again and go to post position we see that the animation and the rig has been transferred to our base mesh with all the material magic that we have done previously still in place so we have not lost anything due to the FBX uh, format for import and export and now to add other uh, or more actions uh, the other animations that we've downloaded from Mixamo uh, this is really uh, starting to get more and more easy um, now actually before we do that let's clean up uh, the scene a little bit let's drag the armature into our mannequin collection and also well, actually we could rename that to hmm, just like to call it hidden so I know this is just the geometry used uh, for the for the rig uh, for the control rig so the control geometry which are replacing the bones in the viewport uh, the name suggests that I can keep that hidden <coughs> for rendering in the viewport. They're just there as geometry data to inform uh, how the bone should be represented in the viewport. Um, let's also purge what we don't need in the scene to keep the blend file nice and clean. And from here on it's really starting to get really easy to add more actions that we have uh, saved before so we go to the uh, nonlinear editor if it's not open already go to the frame where you want to insert another action um, yeah before that we have to append the action from the other animation so let's go into the receive uppercut blend action receive uppercut and then with shift a in the NLA 
we can choose the appended action and there we have it and maybe we want to have him punch again after that and receive another uppercut and like that you can compose your animations for background characters quite easily uh, you can blend different animations if you want to uh, playing around with these settings of the action clip and that's basically it for this tutorial explaining my workflow which really saves you a lot of time in terms of animation if it's just uh, for yeah as i said background characters which don't need a lot of tuning but uh, just have the purpose to show some action and movement in the background uh, but of course uh, you can also use that for uh, foreground characters if you don't need facial animation and bake this uh, sequence that you've created with different actions and then go ahead and tweak the curves, uh, whatever your need is. And with that, I want to wrap up this tutorial. Hope you have learned something useful for yourself and have a good day.